What do you picture when you first think of heterosis? You may think of crossbred dogs, or you may even consider hybrid animals as examples of heterosis. But one common example that enables us to inform those who have yet to understand the concept of heterosis includes the Brangus breed. This breed is 5 8 Angus and 3 8 Brahmin. The Brahmin have developed disease resistance, overall hardiness, and maternal instincts, while the Angus breed are known for their carcass qualities. Thus, combining both the disease resistance, hardiness, and maternal instincts with the carcass qualities results in the creation of the Brangus breed, a superior breed compared to its parent breeds. This is the purpose of heterosis. First, in order to fully understand though, we must give heterosis a proper definition. According to the scholarly article, inbreeding effects upon animals derived from a wild population of Moose musculus, written by Carol Lynch, heterosis may be defined as the outperformance by crossbred or outbred individuals compared to their more inbred parents on some phenotypic scale. By phenotypic scale, we refer to the physical characteristics of the animal. In other words, this means that when two breeds are crossed through mating, their offspring inherit traits from both parents that enhance their function, size, yield, or other characteristics that increase their productivity when compared to the two parents. The overall purpose of heterosis is to produce descendants with superior genetic foundation. It can be used for increased cattle or dairy production, or even to create healthier pets. With this in mind, heterosis is observed throughout the entire world and is utilized over a variety of different species for a numerous amount of purposes. Dogs, cattle, and swine are all familiar species that commonly use crossbreeding to, to achieve heterosis. Beginning with the advantages of heterosis, inbred or purebred dogs have been noted to carry genetic diseases. Through crossbreeding, dogs actually have a reduced chance of genetic disease. This is a result of the heterosis effect in that by creating hybrid dogs, the doubling of detrimental effects are halted in the first generation. Therefore, heterosis in dogs generates stronger descendants. This is observed across a majority of species by crossbreeding. Also, there are reproductive benefits from performing heterosis. According to Introducing Animal Science by W. Stephen Damron, on average, crossbred females have more offspring in litter-bearing species and have better mothering characteristics than the average of the two breeds used to produce them. It has also been concluded that heterosis improves the traits of livestock animals important to the production and quality of food for the human race. This is noticed in swine, cattle, sheep, chicken, dairy, etc. There have been studies regarding whether or not heterosis provides an economic advantage to a producer. Economic advantages are favored and are vital in the production industry. Therefore, one study con conducted by N. Lopez Villalobos and D. J. Garrick focused on investigating this. The article is titled, Economic Heterosis and Breed Complementarity for Dairy Cattle in New Zealand and its objective includes the study of the relationship between economic effects of breed complementarity and heterosis for individual traits in a system of milk production. As a side note, breed complementarity is the match of strengths and weaknesses of different breeds. The Holstein, Frisian, and Jersey breeds were analyzed to evaluate farm profitability. Variables such as live weight, production per cow, and production per hectare were measured across generations. This study confirmed that accumulated heterotic effects of individual traits and breed complementarity result in economic heterosis that increases farm profit. Where there are advantages, there are normally also disadvantages. It has been studied that heterosis and heritability are inversely proportional. This represents that as heritability in an organism increases, the heterosis decreases. For instance, Reproductive traits have low heritability, but high heterosis. Growth traits are approximately equal, and carcass traits have high heritability and low heterosis. Disadvantages are often correlated when breeding two individuals that are too closely related, which leads to line breeding. Line breeding is taking two individuals that are from the same bloodlines and crossing a younger generation with an older generation. Doing this can cause a higher expression of negative traits. 
Now that we have all the pieces to the puzzle of what heterosis is, why it is used and how much of an effect it has on the economy, we now know why heterosis is a more common technique used in our operations and everyday lives today.